Hello, seventh and eighth grade drawing students, both remote learners and face-to-face -face learners. Um, welcome to your first video for lesson one. So this video will be posted um, in your seventh and eighth grade drawing Google Classroom under lesson one. Uh, please be sure to check out the assignment criteria as well as the Google slide for step-by-step -step instructions, term definitions, um, grading criteria, all that good stuff. But always, as always, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. So, lesson one for drawing this year is called Split Face Self-Portrait. So you are going to be reflecting half of your face with the accurate proportions for portraiture, and the other half of your face is going to be a visual self-portrait. So it's kind of as you see you, all the things that you love visually, and then the other half is how the world sees you, the actual accurate portrait. So um, in this lesson, the objectives, the whole purpose of this lesson is for you to understand the correct proportions to creating a portrait, um, understanding the difference between a self-portrait and a portrait, um, what else are we trying to do in this um, lesson? Uh, you are learning about composition and the elements of composition, how to create balance and focal point and an interesting composition. And lastly, you are learning how to visually reflect your personality through imagery. So those are some of the things we're really focusing on this lesson. Um, portraiture is not easy. Um, it's a challenge. It still is for me and I've done a lot of portraits. Um, so step one for this lesson is we're just really going to be practicing, um, doing some really light sketches um, on some scrap paper. Um, so make sure you have some scrap paper. If you purchased a sketchbook, you can just use that paper as well. Um, so you'll want some scrap paper. You will want um, a nice piece of white paper, it only has to be um, eight and a half by 11, somewhere in that range, doesn't need to be a huge piece of paper. So again, sketchbook paper would be fine. Um, you are going to want to reference the handout, so this will also be posted on Google Classroom. This um, just talks about the accurate proportions for creating a portrait, and you're gonna need to know some of those measurements for the unit one test, so make sure you review this. Um, Plus, this is going to help you create a portrait, a self-portrait that actually looks like you because these measurements, believe it or not, are, are hardcore accurate. Um, it's true for everybody. Uh, for example, everybody's eyes are in the middle of their head. Um, the top of your eye aligns with the top of your ear. So these are just some common alignments amongst all portraits. So definitely want to review that. You're going to need... Um, pencil, eraser, because we're going to be making lots of corrections. Um, and then for adding color, you have some options. Um, you can see in my finished product, this is, you'll, you can see this also on the Google slide, but um, you have sort of some freedom on how you want to approach color. Uh, I left my accurate portrait, um, left it just in pencil and gray tones with some shading, um, and then I added color to the visual self-portrait, uh, but if you want to color both sides, you can. Definitely want to see some color at least on this side. So um, you have some options as far as adding color. Uh, students in the past have enjoyed using some skinny Sharpies or Sharpies for some of those fine details and then coloring in with colored pencils. If you have watercolor color pencils, that's also a lot of fun. You can test that out. Um, crayon, really whatever coloring materials. If you just have regular marker, that is fine as well at home. Um, pretty flexible on how you want to add color. We just want to make sure we're doing it neatly because as always, craftsmanship and neatness is part of your overall grade. So um, the list of materials can be found also on Google slide um, under lesson one in your Google classroom. So all kinds of great information um, listed there. So be sure to check out the Google slide, this video and the lesson assignment. Okay, here we go. We're going to go through step by step and follow along. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to eat, mommy. Have fun and enjoy. 
After I made a video of this entire lesson, it was way too long, about 40 minutes. So I've decided to break lesson one down into several video segments. So in this first video segment, you're just going to be learning the accurate proportions on how to create a portrait and practice sketching. After reviewing the Google Slides, step one is to practice creating a self portrait. I forgot to tell you one essential material that you're going to need for step one is a mirror. It is so super important for you to be able to look at yourself while attempting to draw yourself. So often we get caught up in drawing what we think we look like and not what we actually look like. So be sure that you have a mirror, a scrap piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Um, and the portraiture facial guidelines um, that have the accurate proportions for you to reference. You're going to start by drawing a circle really lightly. Remember we are sketching and sketching is drawing lightly. We do this so that we can easily erase and make corrections and you are going to for sure be erasing and making corrections. It's a process. So you're gonna start by drawing a large circle and then you're going to add sort of a U shape at the bottom of that circle. And from there, you're going to divide um, that whole face shape in half. So you're going to find the center and draw a really light line going across your paper. And then you're gonna find the center vertically in that shape and draw a really light line through the center going vertically. That's going to help you determine where the middle of your face is and your eyes land on the middle of your face. So begin practicing sketching. You're going to sketch yourself at least five times. I want you to practice each time. It should slowly start to look more and more like you as you get better at understanding the proportions of creating an accurate self-portrait. I'm going to speed up my demo of my sketching process, but you're going to take your time um, and work through this process again. Remember, you, you are constantly referencing yourself in the mirror. You're drawing, you're looking at yourself. You're drawing, you're looking at yourself. You're looking at the proportions handout and trying to draw what you actually see and not what you think you look like. Um, because that brain, it just sometimes it just likes to just, you know, put that smiley face in and two circle eyes. And then all of a sudden we look like a cartoon and not our actual selves. So the whole purpose of this project is for you to understand portraiture and the correct proportions to creating an accurate self-portrait. So practice, 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 erase, make corrections, draw lightly. Other key proportions to remember when sketching is the space between your two eyes is the same width as one of your eyes. Um, again, the top of your eye aligns with the top of your ear. Now, I can't really see my ears because my hair covers it up, but I went ahead and sort of lightly sketched one ear in just so I would know where my nose ends. The bottom of your nose lines up with the bottom of your ear. So top of your ear, top of your eye bottom of your ear, bottom of your nose, so you know the length of your nose. Um, and then your mouth, the two corners of your mouth align with the center of your eyeball. So if it helps to draw a really light line coming out of your the center of your eyeball, then you know the width of your mouth where each corner of your mouth hits. So these are all um, consistent measurements with all portraits. And then as you, you sketch, you're gonna erase all those measurement lines. So you're erasing and sketching and measuring and erasing and sketching um, through this whole process. Again, all of those measurements you can find on the proportions handout on your Google slide. All right, so for this step one, you are just practicing drawing yourself at least five times. Each time that you sketch yourself, it should look more and more like you. You can see in mine, not all of them look exactly like me, but they get better 